How much does a data analyst make? There is so much information on the data analyst salary. It's overwhelming to figure out what is a realistic pay and what factors impact it. Today, I'll be answering these questions and revealing how much I made in my first year as a data analyst. So let me start off with a story. I had a coworker working as a business intelligence engineer with me and he left the company to become a data scientist somewhere else. I was interested to know how did he do it? So I called him and I asked, hey, how did you become a data scientist? What tools, skills, and learnings did you do to become one? And he said, Agatha, honestly, you're a data scientist too. I do the exact same job over here. So what I've learned from this in my data career is that the job description matters way more than the title and this especially impacts your pay. It's actually pretty common that you may see a data analyst doing a data scientist job and a data scientist doing a data analyst job. So if you see a data analyst role asking for data science skills like machine learning and model building, then ask for a higher pay because that role is closer to what a data scientist does. And I have a whole video on the data roles and different salary expectations you can expect, which I will link up here for you to view. So what else impacts pay? Well, a big factor is location, and this widely varies by country. In general, you'll see data analysts in the United Kingdom, Australia, the US get paid a little more than data analysts in other countries. And the data analyst salary also does vary widely even within the country itself based on the city. Bigger cities tend to have higher costs of living, so you can expect a higher pay as well. This includes cities like San Francisco and New York will have a much higher salary than other locations like Chicago. And although data is used pretty much by every industry, you'll notice that the data roles are more in demand for certain industries, and that includes finance, healthcare, tech. These industries tend to pay closer to the $70,000 range, whereas industries such as the legal and nonprofit tend to pay data analysts in the range closer to 55,000. What else increases the data analyst pay? Well, in my 10 years of being in data, I found that the best way to increase my pay has been by learning new skills. I've learned new skills like cloud technology, big data, ETL tools, and each time I've done this, I've been able to get promoted, get a new job and change industries. The data career requires staying up to date with technology, and that's why I'm so excited to partner with DataCamp to tell you about their certifications. DataCamp is a great resource that I've used to learn data analysis skills. They have certifications designed by experts to make you job ready and to stand out. The certifications range from being career specific like data analyst and data scientist, all the way to skill-based certifications like SQL and Tableau. These certifications have been top rated by Forbes and I'm personally taking the AI Fundamentals certification. What I like about it is the guided learning paths also include interactive exercises. Learning new technical skills is not easy and the platform keeps track of your progress with a point system that keeps you motivated and I've been using a lot of the AI skills already at work. I'm really excited to finish the certification and you can start too by clicking the link in the description. This will take you to a page where you can get started and choose the certification that will advance your career. So now let's talk numbers. What is the average salary of a data analyst? According to Indeed, the average base salary of a data analyst is $77,932. With less than one year experience, you can expect a salary around $73,863. And as you gain more experience, you can see that the salary moves up to around $92,253. When comparing the data analyst salary to other similar roles, you'll see that they are all really similar. 
The data analyst role gets paid very similarly to a business analyst as well as a reporting analyst. And you'll see the pay is around 75,000 to 84,000. And when looking at the career progression of a data analyst, you'll see that the salaries can increase significantly. Many data analysts advance their careers to roles such as analytics manager, director of data analytics and data scientists, and these roles can pay upwards of $150,000 and more. Now, before I tell you my first data analyst salary, let me give you some background. I graduated with a college degree in business, so no computer science degree, and I started my career in consulting in the DC metropolitan area. I changed my career to a data analyst and my first role was a healthcare data analyst and it was a full-time remote position. My job entailed creating business reports, automating data pipelines, as well as presenting metrics to leadership, which are all data analyst responsibilities. So how much did I get paid? As a healthcare data analyst, my first year, I got paid $83,350 a year. Although I was a full-time remote position, I was paid based off my location, which was the DC area. And that is one of the most expensive cities to live in the US. From the average data analyst salaries I just went over, you can see that my salary is pretty much within the range if you consider my location, industry, and experience. If I'm being honest, my data analyst salary was actually a pay cut from my consulting job. And so when I was first offered the role, I did have to consider whether or not to take it, but ultimately I did for three reasons. First, I factored in the other perks and benefits outside of salary. This includes paid time off, and I got about four weeks of paid time off to start with, and that eventually went up to five weeks. This is significantly more than I had before, and it's also significantly more than the average American, which gets about 11 days paid time off per year. Second, I considered the career opportunities within data. I knew that as I gained more skill, I would have more opportunities to increase my pay later on. And that is exactly what I ended up doing as I got promoted to manager of data analytics, as well as changing industries into tech. And third, the main reason was because it was 100% remote. I was burnt out from my consulting job. And if you really factor in the time and money that you're saving from not commuting, not driving, paying for gas, parking, all of that really adds up. And to me, it was worth it to have time back in my life. Hindsight, I am really glad that I chose the data analyst career and it has been a very challenging and rewarding career for me. I'd love to know in the comments what you think about the data analyst career and salary. And I'll be going over more data analyst tips. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss it. Thank you so much. And I will see you on the next video.